Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is Let's Play Freedom Planet, and thank you for watching. Freedom Planet is an action platformer, guys, that takes all of your favorite action platforming games and kind of mashes them up in this really adorable, over-the-top, anime-esque universe. And it just does it very beautifully and seamlessly and kind of in a very fun package, guys. It released on Steam July 2014. It was developed and published by Galaxy Trail. You can go ahead and get Freedom Planet on Steam or the Humble Store for $14.99. I really think you should. Now, in the game, you play three anthrop anthropomorphic animals, excuse me, characters who all have like these varying different abilities. Like one's a cat, one's a dragon, one's a basset hound i think um and you basically kind of can play through the levels basically with these three characters and they all have different kinds of tactics and abilities that they use to get through them like one of them is more like a speedster type character because a lot of people looked at this game and have made references to sonic and while the level design and the art of the game is very reminiscent of sonic it's pretty much it's where it ends there's just there's a lot more to this game just than that guys and each of the characters does really play differently like Mila, for instance, which is the Basset Hound, she kind of plays more like a Mario 2 character where she creates like these solid gelatinous cubes and throws them at the enemies, and she doesn't have any at all any kind of speed powers. Uh, the Cat Chick basically is more of like a scrappy character who kind of bounces around and is more of a melee character. And we'll get into that more. We're going to go ahead and start off with the options here, guys. Um, there are several difficulties for you to enjoy here. If you want to play the game hard, you find the game too easy, you can flip that around and make the game more difficult for yourself. I'm going to play the game on normal. Uh, there isn't much as far as graphics or, um, you know, screen resolution for that matter. That's one thing I will say that I find slightly disappointing. You really only have a couple size, uh, uh, sizes to kind of manipulate uh, and make the game look, you know, decent. But, you do have full controller support here, guys. I plugged in my Logitech controller right away, and it was working beautifully. No questions asked, no problems whatsoever. You can play the game with a keyboard and mouse, or in this case, I guess just a keyboard. Uh, but, you know what? I didn't really have any problems getting my gamepad to work, so that's what I'm going to be using for this video. And I, that is one of the things I did enjoy. Also, you also have some sensitivity manipulation if you want to mess with that kind of thing, guys. There's a lot of things to talk about here, guys. A lot of things to look at. Goodies and collectibles. There is multiple modes to this game. There's a time attack mode. There is an adventure mode and a classic mode. We're going to go ahead and start with the classic mode because it enables me to show you off what the different characters are like. And I want to kind of do that because I want to beat it into your head that this isn't just some random Sonic clone guys that each of these characters kind of plays differently and uniquely. So we're going to go off and start with Mila. Uh, and the classic mode is a little bit different from the you know main mode of the game because there isn't a story as much as you're just kind of just goofing off and running around and attacking things. So let's talk about what you're looking at right here. On the top left we have my health. To the right of that you have my abilities which I have two of them. One of them is this blob ability which I just did right there and I can throw that. Or my next ability, which is the C ability, which is kind of like my special abilities, allow kind of make this shield type attack and then release the button and it does like this blast. Also kind of blows me back a little bit. She can do that without making a blob and it creates like a minor blast. To remind of that is the number of lives I have and then the number of crystals I need to collect to get a another life. Uh, very retro style, very, you know, arcade style type of thing. And to the right, on the very top right of the screen, of course, we have a timer for all you freaks who are obsessed with, you know, well, not freaks, but all you people who are obsessed with, you know, time attack modes and beating the game as humanly fast as possible because the game does feature a leaderboard. Uh, oh, she's blushing. Oh, she's so adorable. I love her. I want to eat her. Okay, anyways. She's... I love the way the button just changes when I do this right now. I don't even know why. It goes into dog mode. She can't do anything. It's kind of adorable. Um, so each of the characters does play very differently. So like Lilac, for instance, does have like a speed attack and can like roll herself up into a ball and shoot forward. But in this case, in Mila's case, she doesn't really have that type of ability. All she can do is kind of fight like a Mario 2 character. Like I said, she has like this ability to form this gelatinous cube here and then use that to defend herself. So let's, like for instance, there's a monster over there. Throw it, there you go. And you basically destroyed it. I can also form my uh, shield and use that to defend myself like that. And the game just has a really focus on you know action as well as much as it does as you know this speedster a aspect to the game. 
Uh, so, like, for instance, she just, you know, Mila, for instance, is just going to be kind of attacking enemies with her shield or using blobs to attack her enemies with. Uh, and, you know, Lilac will be using her speed. Uh, and the other character will be using... Oh, good boy. You stupid creature. You killed yourself. Okay, hold on. Ow, 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 okay. I just hurt myself. Die, fool! Alright. Uh, by the way, those red leaves under that yellow bar there, those, that is representative of my health. And you'll find little health blobs kind of scattered throughout the board for you to collect and find uh, that you can use to kind of restore your health uh, if you need to. You'll also find little power-ups, things that will help your character get a little bit stronger to basically kind of do things to kind of protect your character or maybe, you know, enhance your abilities or give you a shield, whatever have you. Can I not get through that? Oh, there we go. Okay. Also, if I hold down the jump button, she kind of does this adorable, you know, little flappy ears thing that allows her to float for a little while. Um, each character does a little bit something different when they have that ability also. Yeah. Oh, crap. There we go. Yeah. And it's just a lot more of a focus, I think, in this game on action than necessarily um, just the platforming has. Gosh dang you, you stupid creature. Okay. Uh, this thing right here restores my health, so I'll pop it open, and it'll give me little health blobs, which are like little leaves in this case. Oh my goodness, I love it when she flaps her ears. It's just so adorable. So I have to comment on the graphics, guys. Very reminiscent of Sonic, but they're also unique and adorable. I can't get over how, to be honest with you, it reminds me more of an anime in all actuality than it does necessarily Sonic. Because it's just, all the characters are just over the top, very chibi almost. And it's just really just cute characters, you know? I'm allowed to say that. I'm a, you know, it's adorable character design. And each of them really is drawn that way. Even like the dudes in this game are like adorable looking, you know, anime characters in a sense. Now, like I said, there, there is an adventure mode that's very different from uh, this mode that we're playing right now. It's more focused on uh, a story. And that does all. We'll be going into that in a couple of seconds here. I just want to see as far as I can get into this board. Ow! Ow! Um, and I will say the level design, again, are, is very well done. The boards are huge and have, you know, secrets. Oh, you know what I could probably do? Oh, God. Mini boss! Oh, God. I don't know what to do here. Uh, there we go. Take that! Ow! Oh, so that's also like a shield almost. Oh yeah, look at that! Okay. So all you have to move, more or less. I can just stand there and kind of shield myself with it and might defend myself with that. Oh, I thought I could put a block down and apparently I needed to kill that guy, so that was the right thing to do. Uh, the levels basically are just really varied, guys. They're really huge and have lots of secret hidden goodies. Like, there's these card collectibles in the game uh, that are hidden in each and every level. And if you find them all, you get access to, like, you know, art or, you know, little, you know, secrets, little things that you might be able to find, uh, you know, things that are things that they haven't really, you know, released in the game. It's just, it just gives you a little collection, I guess you could say. A little bit of an extra uh, reason to play the game over and over again and try to find all the secrets. So we're going to go ahead and drop out of this mode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the adventure mode. I did want to show you all the characters, but, you know, I, I think you get the idea that all the characters really do play uh, very differently. I've been playing the game, like you can see right there, about 40 minutes now. I'm on level 3 of the story. And in between all the levels is an adorable cutscenes that are all fully voice acted and it's very cute. It's just a scratch. I'm fine. Well, I don't know why she's currently crooked like that. That's a little weird. <laughs> I don't she, it might be slightly glitching the cutscene right here. It wasn't like that before, but the voice acting is very well done and the cutscenes are just all very, you know, chibi and adorable. Uh, you can skip them also if you don't want to see them. So, like, in this case, we're just going to skip a couple of cutscenes because there's a lot. And there's a lot, there's a huge story here. Uh, and it's all voice acted. It's all very you well sure done. You don't want to hang out with Thanks, but I have a lot of work to do. As you can see. Fair enough. 
Just shout if you need anything. All right. What are you going to be up to? Oh, we should have plenty of things to do, especially with a new girl around. I'm bored. Again, I, it just really reminds me of just an anime. It's just very adorable and cute, but also just really fun when you start getting into the levels themselves. Sure. Do you like Mila? I like being surprised. All right, I think I have just the thing. <laughs> hey, Lala. Hmm? How come Jake doesn't want to hang out? With him? Right. He said he had some work to do. You can tell this game was a labor of love. Also, they just poured a lot of heart and charm into this game, and it's just all done really adorably. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the cutscene because you know, even though the cutscenes are some of the best things in this game. Aside from the other you know, really awesome retro gameplay style, I want to get to the gameplay, guys. I don't want to ruin this for you. The story is, you know, pretty good all in all. It's very reminiscent of anime type thing. There's a big crystal, there's a big bad guy, etc., etc. You're trying to stop the main bad guy. I don't want to explain it too much. It's not bad. It is a good storyline. I definitely feel it's something you should experience for yourself, especially if you plan on getting this game. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the cutscenes, get into the level itself. I am playing Lilac now. This is a character that's more... Uh, more reminiscent of, you know, the speedster character. She can kind of hold down, turn herself into a little ball, and starts basically speeding off at high speeds. She can also attack. She can also do this, like, the cyclone attack, where she, I press double jump, and she can um, hurt enemies with that as well. As get a little bit of a, a high advantage here. You kill these birds. And as you can see, all the environments are varied and very pretty looking. All of them are very unique. Uh, and just done with that kind of beautiful pixel art. It's just really, it's a really good looking game. As well as the music and the sounds are all very awesome. I was really impressed by the uh, the soundtrack as well. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, no, no, ow. No. Okay, that was supposed to happen. Wait, was it? Okay, cool, there we go. I was like, what the heck's going on here? Okay, hold on. Let's go that way. Ah, you get on the. By the way, her thing is different because she has like a meter on the top left. As soon as that's fully charged, she uses that meter to basically kind of use her spin attacks, and she can't use her spin attacks again until that meter's full. Gotta be very careful right there. Jump through, and there's just there's this real sense of, of you know verticalness. Basically, there's just a lot of stuff hidden everywhere. Not necessarily just. You know, there's stuff hidden above you, there's stuff hidden below you, there's stuff hidden everywhere. I can imagine that these levels were painstakingly just designed, but also done in really well designed, too. Uh, let's go ahead and... I was going to try to get up there, but forget that. Uh, let's go down, maybe? Oh, I guess we are supposed to go up. There, I mean, there is a, you know, a sense of direction which you're supposed to go in, but how you go about getting to where you're supposed to be is really almost up to you, practically. Because there's just so many paths and turn, guys. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about here. Like, I think they're like, for instance, there probably, if I had to guess, is a secret up here. I'm gonna try to get it. Oh, okay, maybe not. Hold on, ah! I, I'm just missing my jumps here. I'm totally being a dingus. Okay, maybe not. Okay, there isn't anything up there. Little crystals. Got a free life, super sweet. Get, get, get on there, get on there, Lilac. Okay. The controls are very responsive. Don't take my screw ups as any sign of the controls not being responsive. They're very responsive and they work very, very well. We're gonna go ahead and spin through this area. I have to say, I love this level. It's adorable as all heck. Oh, there's dragons and dragons and stuff. Who's that guy? There's a statue there. I know who that is. It's uh yep, don't wanna die. Okay. Is there anything in this room? Let's wait for our mirror charge up here. I'm kinda curious. Alright, cool. I guess not. There is bosses in this game. Uh, as you can imagine, as you kinda get through the levels, you'll face usually like a mini boss. Uh, and then you'll face like a main boss to finish off the level. And then you'll get cutscenes to kind of progress through the uh, game itself. I'm going to wait for this to charge. There we go. Awesome. We're... Whoa, what is that? I think that might be our mini boss. Damn! 
Something pissed him off. Hey, why would there be a ramp of ledge up here, I wonder? Hold on. Okay. Oh god, I fell. Ah, well, so much for that. Ah! Jewel, got some crystals. Always nice to find those. Oh god! Okay. And yeah, the game is just really colorful and it's bright and. I mean, it's just, it's really kind of classic fun, guys. It's just a really fun, awesome game. It's very well done. It's a, it's very well put together. Easy to get into. Easy to control. Oh, 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 oh. There's something up there. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on. Um, oh, you son of a... Punk. Okay, we're gonna run this way. Okay, wait for my thing to come back. And up we go. Okay, we bounced off. Alright, we gotta go on an angle, obviously. I wanna get whatever's in there, dang it. Oh, there's totally something up there. It's totally frosting me that I can't get to it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Start running, jump, and... There we go. Oh, God, no! I missed it! Why? I mean, we can just... Nope, I totally have to go back the way I can. Gosh, dang it. And like I said, there's just hidden goodies everywhere that you can collect to get access to, like, you know, uh, you know, art or screenshots. I'm not really sure what else, to be 100% honest with you, but I just know that in the game... Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright, I'm determined to get... I'll try one more time. If I can't get it, forget it. Ah! Oh! <laughs> so close. Okay, well, I'll come back for that later. Obviously, I, my, my platforming skills are obviously very lacking right now. I'm sorry, guys. But you get the idea. There's stuff just hidden all over the place. Multiple ways to get around through levels. Like, for instance, we didn't even... We could go ahead and check out... Um, you know what? Never mind. I'm not going to get back up there. <laughs> There's multiple ways to check out. We didn't even go like, this direction see what's down here. There's just a lot of different ways to go, guys. And that's what I really like about this game. Also, you know, like I said, it's also a lot more action-y. Um, I thought we could kill that thing. I apparently cannot. I bounced off of it instead. Silly me. Ow! What the hell are you? That was messed up, man. I will say the game is not easy. It's not super difficult. Um, but it also depends on the difficulty that you're playing on. You could also just kind of go crazy insane to the game. I will say that much. Oh gosh, no! Alright, cool. Those are those little uh, power-up things. I'm not really sure what each of them does. I know that some of them help you in different ways. So that's one of the power cards right there. You see it said 35. That's one of the things that you collect to show you, uh, you know, different artwork or, or different things hidden in the game. I'm going to go this way because I'm kind of curious. Oh, look at that. That was kind of cool. Good lord. Uh, what am I looking at here? What is this? Nothing, apparently. Okay. Hey, 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 who are you shooting at? Stop it! Uh, I have no idea exactly how many levels there are in the game. I know that each, like, one level took me about a half hour to beat. So you definitely get, you know, plenty of level play for the boards. And the environments do change up. Uh, quite often. Sometimes you'll be in a cave. Sometimes you'll be, you know, through the forest. In this case, we're in a city right now. And they all they really do a good job of keeping things varied. I want to kill you! I want to kill you! And you are a tough cookie. Wait, that's it. You want... Oh, he exploded! All right! And he was full of delicious crystals. Fantastic. Um, love those eyes. That's awesome. Again, just very anime-esque aesthetic. I'm not sure if I can get to show you a boss. I would love to, but the boards can be rather large, as you can see, guys. Maybe we can at least get to a mini boss. Oh, this looks like something interesting. I don't know what that was. I apparently played it in one, though. 
So, Choza for me? Oh, nice! Look at that! They're just spilling out crystals. I'm sure they'll spill out bad guys eventually. Okay, hold on. And, oh! Nope, okay. This way. And this way. There you go. Oh, there's something up there. Oh! I don't know if I'm gonna get back up there now. I just realized I might have made a mistake. Ow! Doop, 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 doop. Deep, doop. It's kind of bouncing around there for a second. There we go. Perfect. Alright, I'll wait for my thing to charge up here. And then we'll jump up here. And see what's up here. Oh, it's just mostly crystals. Poo! Oh no, apparently there's more. A gas tank? I thought there'd be more too than just that. Alright, whatever. Let's keep heading right here and see what we can find. Whoa! What is that? Holy crap! Something above me is pissed off. Wow, that was fast. That was ridiculously fast. We probably skipped huge amounts of chunks of levels. Oh, I thought you were going to try to shoot me again. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get to a mini boss for the end of the level here. I'd like to think we could, but we might not be able to. There we go. This is one of the bad guys right here. You think you can just walk into this conflict, don't you? It was the moment you brought it to our home. So the Duckman couldn't keep his mouth shut. The game, by the way, also has a demo if you're interested to try out the game for yourself. If you're not too sure about the purchase, you can actually download a demo, try the game out yourself, guys, and, you know, see if you like the game. The game also does feature all that steamy goodness, guys. Oh, this is, this is a mini-boss right here. Oh, God! No! Whoa, 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 yo! Oh, he's, he's fast! Whoa! Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Yeah, I'm kicking your ass, dude! Ah. No, you're kicking my ass too, that's okay. Alright! Oh my god, he's gonna try to ram us? Yes, he's gonna try to ram us. Run! Run! Dear god! There we go. <laughs> you had it coming, Snake Man. There you go, guys. Well, guys, like I said, uh, to end this video, let me just say that Freedom Planet is far from some sort of some sort of Sonic clone, guys. It's unique. It's adorable, and it plays really well, guys. Combining elements of action platformers seamlessly and presenting it an easy to just kind of pick up and play type of game, guys. And it's just, the best way to say it is that kind of easy to swallow is the best way you can say it. Uh, the game will blow your socks off, guys, if you're a fan of retro games or platformers in general. I didn't run into any bugs while playing the game of that weird thing where she was kind of turned sideways during that one cutscene. The game has replay value if you want to collect all those hidden goodies in the game. I think this is a great game, guys, and definitely worth your time and attention. So big thanks to the developer for a chance to check this game out. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and share, and I'll keep bringing you awesome games, guys. Till next time, play more indie games.